Frank Sargent's Outdoor Show with Lloyd from Finn's Superlines. Lloyd, nice to see you. Nice to meet you. How you so, doing, Greg? You met me before. Yeah, I know. Sorry. But, uh, <laughs> all right. uh, explain a little bit about the different fishing lines, and we'll kind of go through the different uses for each of them. I know you guys got four or five different different lines for different applications and some new stuff coming out. So why don't you go ahead and introduce the lines to us, show us what they do and what we use them for. Okay, no problem. We, we do four different situational braids right now. Uh, we've got our original uh, PRT, which is a uh, four-strand spectra line that's got a polymer base coating on it. It won't flake off and fade as bad as what the, the old lines used to right. do. Uh, it holds knots. You don't have to do anything real special. You use your super glue or anything like mm -hmm. that to hold knots or anything like that. It's our most abrasion resistant line that we have. Uh, it's a good multi-purpose line. If you're flipping the bushes or the docks or anything like that, it's great for, for any type of uh, situation like that. So that'd be kind of the line you'd use for just about all applications? Yeah, if yeah, exactly. Exactly. If you're going to buy one line, that'd one be line to do everything with, that would the uh, original right. would be the, the one to do. And then we've got the uh, Wind Tamer, which is a, uh, it starts out like the PRT where it's a four strand spectra braid, but we draw it down. Mm -hmm. In the drawdown process, it packs the, the braid a lot tighter, gets all the air out of it. Uh, it makes it a little bit thinner and smoother in diameter, so it, it casts a lot further. Uh, it's got a little bit of body built into it uh, by the stretching process, and, and that uh, helps you reduce your wind knots okay. when you're throwing it. The, most of the wind knots are coming between your, your spool and your first eye. You get right. a big belly of line, you start reeling it, and you put that loop over the top of the spool, and your next cast throws your wind knot. Right. With, it laying, with it being a little bit of stiffer line, it'll lay straighter between there, so you, it has okay. a tendency not to flip over the top of the spool. So that's a really good line that. for spinning reels, yeah, stuff spin, like spin that. Spinning reels is great. Uh, guys out in Texas are using it a lot on bait casters. A lot of wind. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah, six foot seas, you know, yes. in the bay. <laughs> Definitely. Gotcha. But, but that's that's a great line for that purpose. Uh, and then we, uh, for the offshore guys, everybody was complaining using braid uh, because they were breaking off or pulling hooks right. and, and that type no of stuff stretch. on heart sick because there's no stretch. Exactly. Right. So we designed a line called shock absorbing that has 10% of stretch mm -hmm. in it. It's three strands of spectra and a strand of Dacron and it works uh, like a finger handcuffs that you right. get from the fairs and stuff like that. It, it allows the, the Dacron allows the co uh, compression of the spectra. Yeah. Uh, so it, it wor it'll work like that. It's got 10% stretch in it and that's where it breaks at basically. Right. Right. You know, it, it, under normal circumstances you're probably looking at around 5 to 6% of stretch in it. But uh, for, for trolling, for deep dropping, anything like that where you have a hard hitting fish and you want to set the hook and get him mm -hmm. out quick, this would be the thing to use. I've actually used that line with uh, when we fished the redfish tours out in Texas and stuff when we're using crankbait around yeah. the jetties mm -hmm. it works really well because it gives you know it, it's not that instant when they hit it you know exactly done pull on them you got that little give yeah. where they can actually yeah. get it in their that, mouth. that's a great use for it also it, it's not what I would consider the the best casting line right. in the world um, you know the the wind tamer and the PRT will cast a lot further than that but it, it wasn't designed for a casting right. line right. you know for the most part I mean unless you're using a heavy bait or heavy lure or something like that then, it, then it'll work fine for that cool. And then our uh, fourth line is uh, the smooth cast, and this is not a braid. Uh, this is kind of what we call a, a braid on training wheels, right. basically. <laughs> but uh, what it is is uh, one strand of, of uh, twisted spectra with a polyethylene jacket over the top of it. Gives it a round mono-like feel. You get the, the no stretch and the sensitivity of a braid, right. but you do not get the abrasion resistance or the shock absorption or anything like that so of a true braid. Kind of similar to a laminate? Yeah, exactly. It's, that's a good way to put it, exactly. Um, it is a, it, for someone that's switching over from mono to braid, right. it, it's kind of a little bridge to, right. to get the gap there. It's got a, quite a bit of body in it, uh, which helps on the wind mm -hmm. knots. It casts real well because it's ultra smooth, right. but, um, but it's not a, a braid that you can you know, wrap around the dock three right. times. Right, it's and, not and as strong as your normal yeah, braid. Exactly, right. Exactly, exactly. Right. And then uh, coming up this year, later in this year, we've got a, a product coming out. Uh, this is uh, an eight-strand spectra braid, and it is um, rounder, smoother. It's drawn down a little bit. Uh, this is marked XS uh, braid right now. We're probably not going to uh, market Call it, it as XS <laughs> here in the States. We're doing this out in Australia right now, and, they, and they're really liking it. But it's a lot smoother braid, a rounder, cast a country mile. It, it, and, we're not going to be able to get it down into the real light tensile strengths. You're mm -hmm. probably going to be in the 20 pound and on up from there. How um, is the size compared to on like the 20 pound? Uh, the the, the 20 size? pound, uh, our, our 20 pound is a six pound diameter mm -hmm. mono. Uh, you're probably going to be in the eight range okay. somewhere in that neighborhood. Just it's going to be a little a bit larger. Bigger. Right, exactly. Okay. Uh, but as far as uh, the, the strength and abrasion resistance, it's even better than what the standard the original. are. 
but, uh, because of the extra strands in the line and everything. When can we look for that to be? Hopefully, probably June-ish, somewhere in that neighborhood. Right. That's kind of what we're, that's our kind of target goal on it. So. The other thing I've noticed too is y'all have different colors in the braids. You've got mm -hmm. a bright fluorescent yellow. You've, this is actually orange and Th This is coral, but my boss will get mad at you. Okay, call it we'll, we'll call that coral. <laughs> we'll call that coral. Definitely. And then some different yeah, color greens. Yeah, is we, there any, any reason for that? Uh, a lot of it is, um, if, if you're trolling or if you're in dark water and stuff like that to where you want to see the line, right. it, it's more more for the angler to be able to see the line as opposed to the fish okay. not seeing it. You're tying a leader on it anyhow, right. and if he's looking at the line and not at, your, at what's at the other end of the right. leader. It doesn't matter. Anymore. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. And then we've got another color that we just came out with this year also, which is a, um, a hot pink. The ladies loving it. We actually did this for uh, nice. some Texas, uh, a Texas tournament that was Babes on the Bay. I don't know if it'll show up there or not. It'll probably show real good on the spool like that right oh, there. That'll work too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that but is it definitely is, uh, pink. Uh, we did it for Babes on the Bay out in Texas. It's a big uh, ladies tournament mm -hmm. out there. And it was such a hit out there that we're, we're coming out with the color on it. Very nice. Throughout everything. Nice. So, Where, um, if the folks want to buy, by the line, is it in most most retailers? It, it's starting to get into a lot more retailers okay. around now. I check with them, I talk to them. I've been into most of the retailers in Florida, so it's they, they know of the line. Is there a website um, or something There is like a that? website, it's www.fencefishing.com. You can go on there and order the line straight from the factory also. All righty. On that. Well, thank you so, very much. All right. We appreciate it. Thank you. I appreciate Enjoy it very much. With you. All right. Thanks. Sounds good. Thanks.